it's important to point out that James Gunn talked about the overall story of gods and monsters. And with a lot of them touching on how each one of them will individually kind of have something to do with the overall story. The first one he kind of mentioned that with was with the next project, which is the authority. Dude, I about I, which I, about I knew you would, myself. I knew you would be excited when they announced the authority. <laughs> so from global fame to relative obscurity, Superman Legacy will lead directly into the authority. An ensemble movie about superhumans who have a less than idealistic approach to saving the world. You know, there's a little bit of Kingdom Come sounding philosophy stuff in there. Uh, Gunn spoke at some length about the authority, a project that he says he's really excited to bring to life. The characters come from Wildstorm, which was launched in 1992 as an independent entity under the current DC Comics uh, uh, chief Jim Lee and ultimately made an imprint of DC. Now, here's the thing. So basically the authority on its surface sounds a little bit like a number of things we've gotten. It's, there's a little bit of Suicide Squad sounding in there. There's, there's a, a lot bit, of the boys. I was going to say, there's a bit of the mm -hmm. boys in there, all that kind of stuff. A group of superheroes who are like the ends justify the means sort of philosophy. But I knew you'd be excited about this. Tell everybody why. Aliens, super technology. You basically have two characters that are Batman and Superman that are in a relationship with one another. I mean, but what I love about the comic, I have the absolute editions of the, the first authorities. They were big bold giant scope in scope storytelling they were irreverent mean-spirited sometimes but action on a massive sci-fi scale even the comic panels are huge the way they were first drawn and these characters in a way they they're not it's not as nasty as the boys but it has let's call it a very irreverent attitude but what's interesting about the authority is you could say that in a way it's kind of a prototype justice league so the the authority is something the justice league would want to not be so and the authority is you know they're not exactly the most moral people and i loved this comic because it kind of in my mind it was a super science version of the justice league that was a lot more grounded in the modern age very postmodern. And I think what's going to be really interesting is they're going to use the Justice League to be a counterpoint to the authority. This is this is later stuff, but yeah, I mean... But what do you think he means by the fact when he says that Superman legacy will lead directly into well, the because authority? Well, because I think that the authority will already be a super team that's that exists here already. Right. And Superman's going to come in and go, uh, yeah, no. Now, there's something really interesting here that Saffron says as well, a comparison he makes. I like this. You can bring this up, Jonathan. He says, uh, added Saffron, they're kind of like, I love this illustration, they're kind of like Jack Nicholson and A Few Good Men. They know <laughs> that you want them on the wall, or at least they believe that. Uh, dude, see, this is why... This you is, need me on that wall. Uh, you can't handle the truth. <laughs> that's, what the, that's, what, that's what Apollo, who is basically the Superman character, the authority, would tell Superman. Because you know it's great that analogy we're gonna get that and I'll tell you the authority and Apollo that's somebody who can take Superman on as a villain they're setting up that conflict and and they're giving you who these villains I mean the authority's gonna they're gonna be the bad guys they're gonna be the bad guys and it's gonna be glorious. We wanna thank a sponsor of this video, Masterclass. Masterclass offers classes on a wide variety of topics, all taught by world-class instructors at the very top of their fields. Each class is broken out into individual video lessons, usually around 10 minutes long. And Masterclass is completely accessible on your phone, the web, smart TV, and available via audio mode to listen to classes on the go. They have over 2,500 video lessons from over 180 of today's most brilliant minds. They're all available anytime, anywhere on iOS, Android, desktop, Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. Now, obviously around here on the John Campus Show, we love our movies. So why not learn filmmaking from Jodie Foster or maybe directing from Ron Howard himself or the great Neil Gaiman doing his masterclass on the art of storytelling. And you guys have heard me talk about my 
favorite masterclass, Business Strategy and Leadership by Big Papa Iger himself, Bob Iger, the new and returning CEO of Disney. So guys, I highly recommend that you check it out. Get unlimited access to every class. And as a John Campia Show listener, you get 15% off an annual membership. Just go to masterclass.com slash Campia now. That's masterclass.com slash Campia for 15% off Masterclass.